And <laughs> I like that that's where you go first. And we're just. No, no, you had a lot of beer. We're live. Hey, hey. we are live. Hello. Our she beer. said, she uh, said wine. She met beer. That's awesome. I mean, I'm no, just, I did have wine. Either. I had sangria. Wine. Oh, yeah. Guys, guys, me during the IKEA horror story book. Okay. Look, we're not even close to that. That's not why even I'm like. I'm you need to watch yourself. To get... You need to go watch that video, and then you can understand. No, I super don't. I should probably you be asking you to delete it from the internet because nope. I still have to pass character and fitness tests. No, nope, we what? have posted it multiple places on the internet. But hello, internet. Hi. Hello, internet. I'm trying to make everybody feel better about themselves. And hello, yeah, internet. I'm just I feel great about shit. myself. Yeah, we're all amazing. amazing. Yeah, awesome. we're all pretty great. So we we're read. Amazing. We read Six Wakes by. I'm gonna. I don't even know. Mer Lafferty? I don't know if you like that. I, wrong. I, I, I think, think it, it is. is. Mer Lafferty. That's what but, it said on yeah. the audiobook. But yeah. Mer seems like not a real name. But Mer. sorry, Mer, if that's your name. Uh, not you here to judge your name. Mer Lafferty. Yeah. Has actually been around in the writing community for a really long time. She does an oh, amazing yeah. podcast. She does. Called Ditch, Ditch Diggers with, with Matt Wallace, uh, right? another, yeah, with another <laughs> book club veteran. <laughs> um, I didn't know that. Uh, the guy yep. who wrote the Nuggets book. And she yeah. is from Durham. Oh. She lives in Durham, North Carolina. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I nice. saw that and I was excited. Just go say hello. Nice. Yeah, let's so show up at her house. Be creepy. And... Yeah, be creepy well, about it. Welcome with you, Ness. We like, hi! Yeah. <laughs> we really like that book. That and wouldn't be awkward at all. No, Peggy's <laughs> second book club goes to visit Murr. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the most screaming and threatening, yeah. per unthreatening person. We're good. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, that's so, why you have to up the creep factor. Like, you know, yes. maybe, you know, bring uh, props from the thing, like, you know, murder weapons. That we'll bring her an ornament. Yeah. It'll be fine. So, <laughs> <laughs> it'll be fine. Yes. Some of us yeah. got that joke, some of us did not. It's fine. So, we read Six Wakes. It is basically mm -hmm. a locked room mystery in space, which makes it a thousand times more awesome than every other mm -hmm. locked room mystery ever written. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also had clones. Mm -hmm. Very excellent. So Amelia, what yeah. did briefly, what did you think? Briefly, I really liked it. Um, I thought it was clever and engaging and I had some issues with the beginning that I'll talk about when we get to questions, but once I was in the book, I was in the book and I was just like a downhill slide to the end and it was <laughs> delightful and awesome and very cleverly set up and executed. And the last, the title of the last chapter made me laugh a lot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, yeah, Since Izzy is definitely. drinking, I'm going to jump to Eris. Eris, what did you think? <laughs> um, I goddamn loved this book. I feel like it was, it, I know this was not your intent, but it feels no, almost it was. like. This really? was my intent. I was trying really? to find a book that you would like. That was Yay! my goal. Because I was like, all right, I've gone through a bunch of YA. It's that's my why. turn. Yes, that's so, why I picked it. Oh my God, I loved it. And even better, <laughs> I listened to the whole audio book because I was listening on two times speed. I listened to the whole audiobook on the way back from Raleigh to uh, New Jersey. Nice. So it was very thematically appropriate. I loved it. This is one of those things where, like, I think a strong premise executed with conviction can mm -hmm. really, like, you know, make you say, I don't give a shit about some of the other, like, because nothing is perfect. Yes. So agreed. all of that other shit, like, I do not care. Have mm -hmm. you seen this thing? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's mm -hmm. that's I my opinion. Like, like the Venn diagram of your interest on this was just a yeah. circle. When exactly. I heard the premise of this book, I was like, I have to pick this for book club exactly. because Ares will love it. It's so mm -hmm. up my alley that I may have to rename my alley. Yeah, <laughs> it's now <laughs> the six it's, weeks. It's Mer Alley. Mer Alley. <laughs> Lafferty Alley. Laffer Alley. I would no. go for a Lafferty. Mer sounds like you might be visiting Baby Jesus in the manger. <laughs> That's why yeah, it's that good. Did not happen. Frankincense in this and I don't remember the rest of stuff, guys. Hemlock. Oh, 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 I mm, see. What you did there. Hey, yeah. Poignant. That was All right. an interesting one. All right, Izzy, what did you think? Um, I really enjoyed it once I got like over that initial hump of figuring out what the fuck was going on. <laughs> um, I was also listening at work. So if I have moments in the plot where I'm like, what? It's because I probably had someone walk up to me and start talking to me. And I'm like, pause, pause, pause. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the usual. Um, yeah. But yeah, it was really good and I really liked it. It kind of, it hit all the spots for me for a, a mystery. I've actually, I don't know if I've ever read a closed room mystery before like that. 
Like like the basic closed room mystery because there's not another one like this. I, no, there's well, not. No, just like a basic closed room sort of thing like that ever. I don't think I've ever read one. Oh, locked room mysteries are the best because yeah, they're really, really fun. It forces the author to be really really creative. Mm-hmm. As we saw, like, the, yeah. I think, yeah. well, really well, they, creative. Well, yeah, the, the OG ones are like the Agatha Christie locked room mysteries, which are closed room, which are like Murder on the Orient Express, right. yeah, uh, Ten Little Such Indians. A great. Well, I guess great. okay. So, like, my exposure of that is, like, the Adventure Zone. <laughs> and when they did uh, the the train one, I think that was kind of a locked room mystery. Probably. There you go. Nice. Yes. All right. Uh, I also liked it. I liked it so much that I immediately went to work at the public library today and wrote a shelf talker for it and put it out. Nice. Yay! Nice. I, was, I saw a hard you copy of the power I did, so And then I went... I, did, I write it so good. Then I went to Novelist. I was like... Okay, what are I want to read something like this now, and I was like, let me go to Novelist, which is a, a database that allows you to see similar books. Mm-hmm. You type in a book, um, and I looked at the list of readalikes, and I was like, I am offended by this list because I oh. have read these books, and they are not they are not only not good, they are nothing like this book. Oh. What are they saying? I will not. I'm not going to call out these terrible books. Oh, all right, okay. Because some people <laughs> like them. They were just cool. No, I get it. They're not comparable. They're yeah. not. No, they were. They also happened in space. That was oh, the time. Yeah. <laughs> and that was the limit the, of. The, yeah, that was sad. That's One of the things I loved about this was the fact that they were in space was like, eh, it was only kind of, you know, the thing. Like it was relevant, but it wasn't the whole point. Yes. Like space was just an added complication. And I was very excited about that. Yes. So let us dive right in. Yay. Let us. To our first question, I'm gonna make go back to the second question first. What did you think happened in the beginning? What did you think rather was happening in the like? Beginning? What was your theory of? Yeah, like what? What when you say you read the first two chapters, who did you think did it? Were you right? Um, kind of. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got. I right? called a couple of things. I didn't call it all. Like, there was a lot of shit that I just did not call at all. And one, my one Hail Mary turned out right. Um, and then I called, like, I guess, like, one of the bigger ones. But then, like, everything else is just like, fucking what? <laughs> Which is my favorite way of reading a mystery, frankly. So, nice so are we going to get specific about... Um... We can. Are we oh, spoiling? Right, we're spoiling. Yeah, I mean, we right. always spoil. That's our jam. Well, yeah. I'll say, I, I expected, I suspected the AI pretty quickly. Pretty, pretty quick. Ooh, that was one I was um, That's there. usually yeah. where my mind goes. So I was right wrong. I mean, I suppose <laughs> if you had any theory, you were probably right wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Much like Murder on the Orient Express. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that was my big like. Oh yeah, I'm satisfied because nice. I knew that I saw that one coming. You know. <laughs> my, I was. I felt that way about my Hail Mary, which was Wolfgang. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I, that was a good quiet, one. right? Like. I don't know. Yeah. The reveal when I read it, I was like, oh, doy, of course. Yeah, but I haven't I mean, really put it together yet. I'm yeah. like, there's no way she's going to make that guy Wolfgang. No, it, oh, sweet. <laughs> no, it's, that was good. I like that. Yeah, I did not know any of the shit about Hero because. Do stop deleting things. I wasn't getting, trying to. Sorry. Get out of the dock. You're out of the dock. Leave her dock alone. She has the power, Izzy. Yeah. You're too drunk. Um. To get out of the dock. <laughs> what okay, about you, Ness? Yeah. Did you have guesses? Yeah. I didn't. I don't like to, I don't I never try to figure out the plot. Okay, I I do the same thing, right? Like I try not to guess too early because I'll usually a lot of times I figure it out and then it kind of ruins the book, right? Not not always, but you know, it's like reading the end before you read the whole rest of the right. book. Oh, see, yeah. Like little old ladies that read the end of the mystery novel and then they read it to see if they guess like if oh, they can guess I it. That. That's so fun. I know. So I just try to like kind of go on blank slate, but I was super suspicious of the AI. AI. As soon as stuff about the religious dude was revealed, Paul? Was that Paul? Paul, the well, anti- there were two. Well, there were two religious dudes. Yeah, explain what you mean by religious dude. Yeah. yeah. Paul I mean the, the dude who was dude. like the, the priest. Wolfgang. That's, That's Wolfgang. Wolfgang. That Wolfgang. Okay, I'm sorry. That's well, the problem with this book is the names. When stuff about Wolfgang started to come up, I was like, this dude is, I don't know. There's uh, something about every time his character came up early on, I was like, there's not enough detail. Like, we got so many bits for the other characters, and I was like, hmm, this is weird. I think, well, I, I got a good sense. He is scary. He is from the moon. 
Um, yeah, but I just felt like we got more of their backgrounds <laughs> earlier on. We definitely it was definitely imbalanced, yeah. right? Like it wasn't like you got a chapter oh, yeah. from Maria and then you got a chapter from Wolfgang and then you got a chapter from Joanne and no. you got a chapter from Paul. No, it was, got, it was from very Paul. imbalanced. Yeah, it was the Maria and Hero story for a good for a good yeah. chunk of it. Which I was oh, absolutely. Was yeah, I was gonna say, oh, I'm absolutely. Okay. I like their story. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Rather they were my open, favorites. So just open my field oh. notes. Yes. So did did learning yes. they were all criminals change your opinion of what was going on? No. No, because crime is a wide definition. Yes. Says the lawyer. Right, we, <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. Am I being out of character? No, you're being yeah, totally no, in character. Totally in character. Yeah. 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 Like, oh, I'm sorry. Am I blowing anyone's mind? Because no, no like, I just it cracks me up. But you're like, it's a wide definition. It's like, yeah. There's a lot of crime. That. There's a lot there of crime. Is. Oh, I mean, even in the, the ship, right? Like, we never really find out what Joanna did, but it seems like it wasn't that terrible. Mm-hmm. No. Else. Right. Versus what like Hero did. <laughs> yeah, Hero yeah. or or, or, or yeah. Maria or Wolfgang. Or, frankly, or Katrina. Wolfgang, yeah. Katrina. Yeah. Oh, that too. Yeah, they're all they're all bad. <laughs> they're not all they did bad things i don't know if they were yes, bad they, they all did, did bad very things. bad things except for maybe joanna <laughs> well yeah. at the same time like hero didn't intentionally do all that shit well some of hero did well yeah. okay it was <laughs> which, hero one, which version are we talking about cause... i'm arguing that the mens rea is not necessarily no, no, where no, it needs to be no no no, Look, I gotta, I gotta act like a lawyer somewhere. That. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Look, I got, I, I got, I gotta. <laughs> we're not gotta act it. like a lawyer sometimes. No, we're not doing that. She's not so doing did, it. I'm not, we're not doing it. <laughs> did learning, that. did so, did learning like the actual identities of any of the characters change your opinions of them? No. no. Felt sadder for Wolfgang. Because yeah, that is much sadder. That is people. the definition mm-hmm. of what I think is just fucking terrifying. Like that. Yeah. yeah. I'm, hero well, two, me, hero two. But well, for, for Wolfgang, I, I like where you're going with that. Like the thing that was saddest for me, I think I'm the only person who is religious in any way similar form as Wolfgang. Oh yeah, definitely. Was so for me, it was the the tragedy of it was that like she could tell he actually had faith. Like he wasn't faking it. Yes. He wasn't doing yeah. it for power. He wasn't right. doing any of that. And, just did and it she anyway. still took. I mean, she didn't. You can argue about whether she had a choice. I don't really think she did. Right. But, he took it from him anyway. Like that was a real thing that he had. Yeah. And he knew it was gone. Yeah. But the thing he had made him hurt people. Yes. I'm not saying that it was he right? did not do bad things yes. as a result of his faith. Yeah. It but, was no, it was really complicated and I like yeah. it. Oh like, yeah. <laughs> you know, like this thing, this thing, this idea of faith that is such a powerful and amazing tool in people's lives yeah. also can cause so much damage. Mm-hmm. I also think the science was so interesting because, like, they, they've definitely done that. Like, if you hold magnets on people's brains in a certain way, you can stimulate a section that is more, like, basically the, they call it the faith section, but I think that's reductive. It's, it's basically where, like, a section of your brain kind of starts putting connections together in a certain way. So the idea that, yes, you can physically map out in ones and zeros or whatever the sci-fi equivalent of it, of something as deep as faith, like, that's fascinating mm. and it creeps me out mm-hmm. like i'm not religious at all i am the beep boop don't get but at the same time that's fucked up like mm-hmm. you don't that's like taking somebody's identity away that's mm-hmm. that's like yeah that that's taking away conviction that like that is so fucked up and it's and it comes back to again like okay he was preaching a bunch of like nasty shit like he was being cruel like and he had the potential to cause a lot of havoc if people actually took him up on the whole like it's not a it's not a sin to kill clones. He didn't actually kill anybody though. And then you also wonder like how many how many followers does this guy have? Uh, da, 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 da. Is there you know can you really trace some of these actions back to him? And it's like that it was fucked up and it never should have happened. It was fucked up. It was fucked up. It was fucked up. And yeah. it made me feel really bad for him. It made for me sh- everybody involved, it was fucked up. Yeah. It made me ship uh, him and Joanna like 10 times harder. Did anybody else? Um, anybody oh, else? Yeah. Okay, good, good. Yeah, absolutely. Good. All right, because I never know if I'm like seeing things because I'm not professional at shipping. So I just <laughs> no, that, to double check. That, no, it was pretty, pretty. No, it, was, it is an amateur's attempt. I, I understand this. <laughs> okay. Can that so be your new like profile on Twitter? Not professional at shipping. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> amateur, <laughs> shipper. amateur shipper oh. at best. Amateur shipper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Amateur shipper. <laughs> Oh goodness! 
So what did you think of the fact that she opened the book with those codicils, the codicils to govern the existence of clones? Did you think that was a, an effective opener? Did it give you some background that was useful or was it just weird? I mean, it felt like an homage to Asimov. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah, like yeah. A, a plus Asimov. Uh, yeah. I, I'm sorry, Asimov. I keep saying it Asimov. Well, Asimov. you know, he was kind of an ass. So. I mean, yes, but I don't have to sound that ridiculous. Um, no, I, I thought it was great. I love that kind of shit. I love that world building right up front. Like, this this book was 110% my jam. Like, I, I, I understand how hitting somebody across the head with like, whoa, what, we're already in this? Uh, yeah, I don't care, because it was fucking awesome. Yeah, I thought it was a good basis to kind of give you a feel for the world and what the climate was. Slash and, universe? Not world, I guess. But And also that there were rules. Yeah. 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 Like, it wasn't the Wild West. It was like, this is a very, you know, like, strict process. And also, I love knowing what the norm is, so that when further down the line in the plot, you violate the norm, I know what that means. Right. And I think not enough sci-fi and fantasy really like takes the time to tell you what the norm is. Mm-hmm. Well, I think it's, she, she it's did so it. much more fun violating. Well, well no, she built it. Like she, I think like, exactly. She, when I interviewed Scalzi, he said he built his world. He builds his worlds two questions deep, and I think she yeah. builds her world far deeper than that. Yes, mm-hmm. and, and so that's the thing. I really liked that she did yeah. that. I am glad that she did that, and it's one of the things that I like seeing in sci-fi and fantasy, and kind of wish that I'd see more often because then I can really like get into like how big this plot point is like the fact that they made him a clone against his will and then oh no or that they cloned hero a billion times yes and how huge an issue that was and how many problems okay so also i did like the idea that it was like a bunch of statutes and i can understand statutes (laughs) well i thought it was fascinating like 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 they were doing when joanna and the others were doing the the codicils they never envisioned that thing like what do you what happens when you have eight clones at the same time yeah. Right. And you can right. what, what do you do with their mind maps? Yeah. Clearly, right. the answer yeah. is not put them all in the same dude. Uh, like, yeah. Yeah. Just a heads up. That's exactly yeah. the kind of stupid no, shit that the law would that, do. That's what I, like, yes. and but, it's like, like, that's not the intention of the law, but then you can totally see, like, this is the law as it's written, and, and you've got to follow it. So right. fucking worked for me. I'm like, and there's not going to be any kind of, like, going back. They're just going to keep making the same right. stupid fucking mistake over and over again because they made right. it this yeah. one time. Not and now it's precedent. Yeah, now it's precedent. So it's what you're going right. to do every single yeah. fucking time. Right, and the change and is so ruin slow. Lives. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, I love that. I, I love how, I love when sci-fi sticks to its rules. Yeah, mm-hmm. I love that because <laughs> it's so easy. It's like fuck it, I'm in space. I can do whatever I want. No, when an author sets rules for themselves like this, I think that that is awesome, and it gets them really, really creative. Yeah, she definitely did. Even in the magical bits, she stuck to the rules. So yes. That was good. I also like that she had, we had a character that was there at the beginning, where, like, we have Joanna, who's been a clone for hundreds of years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, like, yeah. we see the impact yeah. of that going forward. Yeah. yeah. Well, and actually, if you think about it, we had two characters for, who were there from the beginning. It's Let's true. About it. <laughs> that... That's my. I think that's my favorite reveal in the whole book. Like oh. that just it just delighted the heck out of me when that. So fucking brutal. Like, so, oh. for for our viewer, you should probably explain what you mean. So the character of the AI turns out. So spoilers. I barely said it, but turns out to be an actual person who has been stripped of its personhood of their personhood and put made into an AI sort of. So they were never really an AI. They were just I. They were like made yeah, into right. a computer. Um, and the person who they did that to was a translator at the very beginning of the negotiations for clone laws who caused some trouble in translation and kind of pushed clone laws to go his own the way he wanted them to go. Yeah. Uh, so from the beginning. Stuff. That yeah. guy was causing trouble, and he caused trouble all through the book, but we didn't know it yeah. <laughs> throughout. That was just clever, just clever. Oh, and he was such a cool trickster archetype too. Yes. Oh. Yep. Just the whole thing was amazing. I just oh, yeah, that was a delight. Guys, AI it. is always bad news. No, false, false. Show me a book mm. where it's not bad. Can we news. keep it a baby forever? Well, he, first of all, he's not AI. The bad news was he is just was- I. You're forced I, yeah, I love that idea. into a thing that he did not consent to. It, that's kind of the premise of the whole book, oh, right? Yeah, People forced so. into places they did not consent to be. Yeah, <laughs> he just, is I'm an running away. Stripped of personhood. 
the minute mm-hmm. you put me on a ship with like AI, I like I'm out. <laughs> But, I mean, I think if you can keep the AI a baby forever. No, that's terrible. Babies make terrible that's... decisions. Also, well, no, that's no, like, like super ethically developing. questionable. Oh, yeah. No, no, yeah. No, no, no. Okay. No, no, no. I'm saying like once they start. Well, no, I think it's terrible. But yeah. I've, it's the idea of how do you make safe AI. And the only way you, you can do it is if they're still you like don't. Just you don't. undercutting it. So you don't. That's you don't like saying, a and not AI. How, do you, how do you be sure you give birth to a child that won't grow up to be a serial killer? You can't. Yeah, you, yeah, you fucking don't. I mean, you do everything that you possibly you can. You don't have a baby. That's how you yeah. do that. Yeah. <laughs> that is one way to go. Yes. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. I got to see my friend's baby and I loved it. So, okay. no, honestly, like, so, frankly, like, the, the, the thing that I meant by that was just if you can kind of distract an AI constantly with, like, keys or some shit or the digital equivalent of a shiny object jangling, then maybe it would be safe. But then, like, what kind of personhood does that does that thing have? Not, it really doesn't. Yeah, it has no agency. No, so it's, it's not... Asleep. So everybody... If we ever come up with true AI, which we, we don't have, we have neural network computers, which are completely different, but whatever, fine, fucking keep calling them AI. Um... Like then, yes, we have a lot of questions, but I think this was especially interesting because this is a, a, a like somebody who had personhood that it was then mm-hmm. moved, mm-hmm. and you right. just had the intelligence left behind. Yeah. So this was a super smart book, and I loved it. Yeah, it was. So why, why don't we talk about Ian slash I can't remember his actual name and Minoru, I think. Minoru. Takahashi. Minoru Takahashi. Yeah. He was uh, Japanese, so yeah. Yeah, Yeah, it was Hiro and Minoru. I loved how, like, when he first comes back online, because he spends the first part of the book disabled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That he comes back in stages and gets more and more like the actual person he was as he comes back. Mm -hmm. And he's awesome when he comes back as, like, his actual self. And he's like, hey, he's got two thumbs and is totally fucked. It's you. It's you. He's got thumbs. (laughs) It's not me. I have no thumbs. I have all the power here, right? Uh, I'm actually a spaceship. Bummer for you. So I'm playing with fake bugs. Uh, You guys have fun finding oxygen. I'm going to get sad now. (laughs) But I mean, even before that, like when he's helping Maria. Oh, yeah. He he clearly had a malicious intent the entire time. I thought, see, I found him more malicious than vicious. Well, not malicious. Malicious isn't the right word. Self-motivated, I guess, is a better word. Yeah. Yeah. But in a very malicious way. Kind of logs and stuff. Yeah. Well, I feel like Hero put it well. He likes to stir shit up. Right? Like, right. Yeah. He wants to put stuff into motion and see what happens all the time. Right. And that was so yeah. consistent with his character throughout the entire book. Yes. I do was. think he has motives, though. I don't. Th- I think he has like ways that he wants things to go, and he's a little more targeted when he has that. Because clearly, he didn't want no clone rights. So, like, he he made the changes that he did to the translation to try and get a specific outcome. So, I mean, he did have a plan. Well, and what he could but get then, away you know with, what else probably. is fucking awesome? Trolling. <laughs> so it's <laughs> yeah. like sometimes he's got a plan, other times it's just for the lulls, you know. But like in prison, he was just yes. trolling everyone. Yeah, yeah just to the keep from being bored, really. Right. Yeah. Well, and the brilliance of putting him, like doing what he did at the end, <laughs> or at the end, like when they kidnapped him, putting himself in the. Oh, it's just brilliant. Yeah, so, like, he was just like, oh, boy, I gotta, like, hide, stash this away, and hopefully someday. There were a lot of, like, oh, isn't that gonna be... Well, I asked a question about that down the road, so... Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I thought it was interesting that both he, he did that and Maria did that, right? Yes. So, like, they're yeah. bro. Yeah, they totally Oh, that. yeah, they can talk about, like, you know, crazy high-level mind map shit, so yeah. they'll at least have, like, rewarding conversations with one another between when she and Hero Bang. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah see, I was shipping them until he came out of a per- as a person again, and I was like, I don't know. I think maybe they're more suited to each other. Mm, I don't know. I like Hero well, a lot. I do, too. He's he was great. a sweetie pie. He was Wash. He was, like, psycho, like, Johnny the Homicidal Maniac Wash, basically. He was. So, sub-question. <sighs> should they keep going to this planet that may or may not exist? Or should they go back to Earth and kick Sally's ass? That was my question. <laughs> I don't think that they would successfully kick Sally's ass. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Space adventures forever. Space adventures. I mean, eventually they're going to run out of shit, space right? Adventure. Right. Unless eventually. they never wake anybody up, in which case they probably got plenty for a really long time. Yeah, they got lots of that life shit. Yeah, they just forget about all the Richie jerks and cryo. They're probably good to go. 
Yeah, honestly, like, they can just, like, decide who they hate the most. Like, because I'm sure there's, like, detailed logs somewhere. Like, oh, oh, that guy's basically, like, a space hedge fund manager. Launch. Yeah. Well, I think pretty <laughs> much everyone on board is, yeah. you know, not well, any no. less human. I, or I at least, we like, don't know. Yeah, we don't know. Yeah, detective, like, though, the detective lady. True. Yeah, because, like, Sally board. Mignon isn't, like, she will make enemies out of nice people and terrible people, so... Very true. Very she true. just made me want steak. Yeah, a filet. Yeah, a little Soleil bit. Filet mignon. <laughs> <laughs> I yes, definitely made that joke like, to myself. I hate after... you. I, no, I made that joke to myself, like, four or five times in the car. Oh, I did, Because I was too. going fucking stir-crazy. Because it's a nine-hour goddamn drive. Meanwhile, I'm like... I, that's an interesting name, because mignon means cute in French. Yes! <laughs> And she nice was kind of like, me. I'm Ness. I speak French because it's almost Canada Day, so I'm going to bring that up. Well, no, because I was like, how would you even pronounce that in English? I can only oh. see it in Mignon. French. Mignon. That's French. Which is, which is a bastardized yeah, like, version of, like, of the French one. Mignon. Is it Mignon? No. But so since we're talking about her, Sally motherfucking Mignon. Worst, we best. Talk? Yeah, Can we talk word. about how great she is. Best the most umbrage of umbrages. She is not the umbrage. No, no, no. She is no umbrage. Umbridge was not that clever. No. <laughs> umbridge was think? not that clever. No. She was a bitch. She wasn't clever. She had umbrages drive, I guess. She yes. had ambition. Oh, sure. yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's 100% yeah. Yeah, clever. Yeah, she was much smarter. But, like, like her think. entire, like, arch-villain plot totally falls apart as soon as you realize she put all these people she had problems with on a fucking spaceship together. No, that's, I mean, that's what's genius I thought it was about perfect. it. That's what's <laughs> genius about it. Don't you yeah. have you ever thought? I wish I could put all my enemies onto a spaceship and shoot them into the sun. Yes, I don't have a lot of enemies, yeah. so no, not really. Yeah. Like, well, really, you don't I mean, want to take all of the Republicans <laughs> and put them on a spaceship and shoot them into the sun because that's really good. Really I mean, or just shoot them off. They don't have to die. They'll work right. it out. Will they? Yes. I mean, Come you know, their way. Okay, their way. I, I take my back my statement. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, the other thing is, like, frankly, she knows her enemies, too. That's the thing. So if she puts them all on a ship and it's like, hey, you're going somewhere, maybe she knows enough of her enemies will be like, all right, fuck it. <laughs> They'll just keep going and she'll be fine. Well, I honestly don't think of the, the people who were awake as her enemies. Maybe Maria because she pissed yeah, her off. I mean, yeah. But mostly they were just her pawns, right? To mm -hmm hurt yeah. her enemies oh yeah fair um well katrina right like katrina knows too much about her same with maria right right yeah well that's like convenient disposal right? yes <laughs> but she like not people she necessarily hated per se I, I don't think she hates anyone i think no. that's i don't i don't know, I know I think she the people she put on that ship in cryo enough to create a billion dollar revenge plot against I don't think that's, hate. that's just like if you once you have that much money, just she has this like, baby. So many lives. She has. She was so like much bored. Money. It's like it's like the. Yeah. Clone like she was just playing dolls. It's like those old yeah. tiny vampires. Like oh, I've lived yeah. thirty centuries and I've already built all the castle I can do. Let's fuck with the village. Like I have to say, this is the most realistic immortality plot ever. Then because like I've always yeah. said, if people are immortal, we'll eventually all be sociopaths. Yeah, and she is like the oh, yeah. perfect sociopath too. She like, is really no ethics beyond herself. It's... She has her own rules. That's like she's not that's, like she has, the, that's, that's the, the hallmark no of sociopath. Well, yeah, right. Like she's not mm -hmm. that she has no ethics. It's that she, she has, has her, her own, own beyond ethic. herself. That's yeah. right. That was right. the thing. So no ethics. Her morality herself. is very different than say the rest of us. Yeah, which who's yeah. I mean I suspect that would be the case for any of us who would live that long. See that that's I mean, yeah, which I is the argument. I wouldn't be a crazy long. person after okay, I, long. You can't all talk at the same time. One time. <laughs> Sorry. No, there's lag. <laughs> it was quiet when I started. It wasn't. Go ahead, Izzy. <laughs> I said I I feel like I probably would also be a little little nutso after that many lives, and I mean, why not? Enjoy. Well, right? Why not? I just think you stop caring. Like she says it outright. Like who cares about family? Family's irrelevant. Like well, and it all... is though because you completely like skip puberty. Like, are we even really truly reproducing people anymore? Or are we just cloning people outright in this world? They're both. Oh, yeah, both. I think it, I think it's supposed to be like fifty fifty, but the balance might change eventually, and that's like one yeah, of the but you know, like I world. mean, in reality, is it truly a fifty fifty thing, or is it really more people are just clones and 
you get to skip puberty and the awkwardness and go straight into like I'm 18, 19 again. I think, I think this is still supposed to be a tool of the super wealthy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I my impression was that there aren't as many clones as humans because right. like a third of the clones lived in that one tower. And now granted it was a gigantic tower. Like yeah. let's say it's the size of, I don't know, a mid-sized city. But still, that's a third of all clones on Earth. That's not mm-hmm. very many. Yeah, no. And I would imagine that the biological drive to reproduce would keep a lot of people from because one of the clone rules is they can't reproduce. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're yeah, sterile. Yeah, you're, you're immediately sterile upon being cloned. Yeah. And clones are okay with that because I'm going to leave my wealth to my next clone, not my right. stupid kids anyway. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll know what to do with it. Unlike you, Stephen. Right. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Well, they say you can't take it with you, but you can leave it to your next self. So yeah, exactly, exactly. So you definitely can. You absolutely you definitely can, can take it with money. you, then. Yeah, that's right. So what do we think about the people who are gullible enough to fall for Sally Mignon? The rich people who are gullible enough to fall for Sally Mignon's thing. They had to have known they were awesome. enemies with right? her. Right, like like a plus prep, a plus question premise: a bunch of rich people entrust their entire future to six parentheses seven criminals. Yeah, like. <laughs> If I'm me and I have a million billion dollars and I'm like, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to let you put me to sleep or strip my brain and take the mind map and then put me on a ship with seven criminals running the entire joint for hundreds of years. It'll probably be fine. Don't worry, like, Amelia. They get, they get pardoned at the end yeah. of the trip. Like literally the don't worst worry. premise. Like don't I worry. don't understand how anyone would go for this. Did I was they like, know? Did yeah, they that's know? That's my question. They Possibly wanted- not. Did they they want the 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 knowledge and the like ver like the notoriety though for like founding this new place. I feel bad like. enough to entrust your entire existence to six criminals. They don't like, know the bad criminals. criminals. No that, way so they that, know criminals. That, I can buy that if they did yeah. not know and they were sold like it was going to be this yeah. amazing crew who was vetted. Yeah, then I would probably buy it. Right. Yeah. Because otherwise, no. So and just departed. Kind of- no. <laughs> that was kind of what I I, I I had to kind of fill in the blanks there uh, for myself, and that might not be what she intended, but again, I don't fucking care. This book ruled. No, that works for me. I like that. <laughs> like, if they didn't know, it works a lot better. It's a big well, loophole. I, it's a big I know, loophole. I feel like Sally would not be telling these people this, right? Like, she it's wants like all of her enemies to get onto the ship. Yeah. 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 She's not telling really them like anything them. that's going to turn their, get them to turn their asses around. And what did Katrina say? You have to sell them hope, and you're not going to sell them hope if murderers are babysitting you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, they don't know if they're murderers. Well, that's what I'm saying. They, they have to have not again, known. Yeah, they had to have right. not known anything. Because even if yeah. it was like, yes, this man is going to get a pardon for his constant jaywalking. Like, no. the people who are able to buy their way onto a spaceship are going to be like, I don't trust him. He doesn't follow rules. Any oh. number of things. Like, well, yeah. I don't know anything about this. No. Yeah. 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 Mm-mm. 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 Okay. Yeah. So there were a whole bunch of ethical issues. <laughs> so good. I listed some of my favorites. What were oh some boy. of your favorite ethical issues? Oh god. Um, my thing, like I just the second that it became a question of you know you can directly go into someone's mind and fuck with it in any way, <laughs> I was like, that's that's. I'm I would sorry. Never be a club. Yeah. No, you're totally right, Eris. That was creepy shit. <laughs> like, it was. Just... I'm not laughing at you. I'm sorry. They're they're arguing over the you and labor. <laughs> <laughs> I just like look up and I see you go to leave. And then it's one day before Canada Day. It's one day before Canada Day. Respect. Guys, it's like a week Canada before. Day. Eh? Huh? Tomorrow is Canada Day. <laughs> Canada Day. Eh? Canada Day eh? I got it right. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. I fuck up my own birthday sometime, but I remember when Canada Day is. It's the easiest holiday to remember. <laughs> um, it's July first. Ness, you should just read your list. These are really good. Yeah, okay, honestly. So, so these are my favorite ethical issues. Please pronounce have. the U. Thank you. No one always does pronounce the U. No one does not. So, the U one is does. Silent. Using it, it is not silent. Using <laughs> prisoner labor to crew the ship. Labor. Cloning bathtub babies, i.e., basically designer babies. Right. Which we're, we're all doesn't seem with. so terrible until you're like, they're not just changing eye color and hair color, they're changing fundamental things about the, pe- the people. And yeah. then killing the original baby. Yeah. yeah. That is the yeah. problem. There's yeah, a, lot, a problem. Yeah. 
like basically yeah. like this is shit that I've read journal articles on because we are at the point where we can go in and correct like chromosomal anomalies or at least we're close yeah. we're trying to come up with law for this shit and it's not going well Well, and it mirrors it's not going well and the questions about abortion which I think are really interesting mm-hmm. yeah yes so more more uh, ethical issues, mind mapping, privacy. The person who reads the mind map can basically tell anything about you. Mm, erasing right. people's hacking, so erasing pe- parts of people's personalities, their faith, <sighs> their memories. Ugh. With or without their Changing. consent. Yeah. Right. Like what Sally wanted to do to her partner, right? Mm. Like make him love her more, make him not mm. want to cheat on her, make him not mad at her for turning him into a against his will. Mm. I found... Sterilizing the clones, as a matter of course, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. problematic. Uh, mm-hmm. Without, I, you're doing oh, 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 necessarily, oh. right? Well, the first time they did it, the first time they did it, when they put in these laws, right? Like people were already clones, not oh, necessarily known that they were. That's right. They weren't life. grandfathering everything. That's right. Right. Mm-hmm. Which goes into the next one: not grandfathering in changes hacks that clones had already made to themselves. Yeah. For example, transgender clones getting a body that was their appropriate gender. Oh, so they'd like have to do the operation every time. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, that, like mm-hmm. that's like, I, I consider the grandfathering thing to be like, you know, whenever you're, go, you're working off a backup, like I figured that was kind of the explanation for the trans thing. It was so mm-hmm. bullshit, but. It, it was not. Like, uh, yeah, you're right. The no grandfathering extended but beyond like the whole, well, I, uh, I, I had already, you know, I wasn't sterilized when I initially started or, oh, uh, well, I, I originally fixed my, fixed my cerebral palsy the last time. Oh, right. Like Joanna, if she wanted, if she had yeah. disability, if she would have wanted to keep her legs as functioning. At the time, legs, she could have. She could not have because she would not have no. been able to have been oh, no, 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 no. In. before yeah before she d- before the the rules right. went in she would have been able to do but that but after she did after didn't the rules, you're right. yeah right. it's interesting too that that's what they went with like you have to be what you already were because then at that point a lot of people are are maybe suffering for no re- like trans people or people who don't particularly like or enjoy the body they're in for whatever reason or, it's or interesting Sally. that they didn't. Sally's Sorry, partner who had it late state, like late in like life. Like MS, now. right? And that's like the positive side of this technology and they just killed it all, which is right. fascinating. But it's the baby same. with the bathwater on this one. Right, it, exactly. It feels like that, but I actually, I, well, I'm going to, I think my question is better as a sub question here. Like, is, is it true their premise that cloning is inherently selfish? And is this the idea of like, we're imposing some penalties for that selfishness? No, I don't think it's true. I think that's the same as saying child freeness is selfish. Right. Mm -hmm. Like it's not selfish to want what you want for your own self. Well, I guess it is, but that's implying. I was like, I feel like that's that might be the like yeah yeah. If it's selfish, is that bad? And my answer would be, I don't think so. I don't think it's wrong to be selfish in that way. Yeah. It's not like it's selfish to the point of excluding safety in society or community. It's just like individual interest. Hmm. Right. I can see what, yeah, I think, Amelia, I see what you're saying with that one more in that I way. S- I don't know, that it being, like, a purely selfish act, because if I was... I think it's a self-interested act. I don't yeah, I would disagree yeah, that yeah, it's a good act. Act. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's self-interested. It's not necessarily selfish, because you're not really hurting anyone around you. Right. Right. Well, the, I mean, I you could also argue that having things. children is a selfish act, because right, it's... Absolutely, d- yeah. Well, resources from the whole that don't need to be pulled from and cloning pulls. Yeah. I mean, as in this world, it seems to be that cloning pulls less of those resources. Well, and you pay for your clones. So if I right. die and I get a clone, I pay for that. So it's not pulling resources yeah. from anyone except for me. Right. Well, it well, might be the earth. I, like, I don't know what to, that stuff's made out of. It might be environmentally hazardous. I have no idea. I, I think, you know, okay. So like I had to kind of come up with like weird reasons for this. And it's like, Personally, I often, whenever I want to bore the shit out of someone, but also yell at them, uh, argue about the, the idea of the dead hand of the past. And it's basically like, okay, imagine if your grandfather, I don't know your grandfathers, you might like them very much, but imagine if your grandfather got to keep making decisions forever. Mm-hmm. Do you th- what do you think would happen to society at that point? Like, Because I think that there is something to be said about the idea of somebody saying, you know what, I need to be around forever ever me and my ideas 
my idea of what is important. And I want to be able to keep generating resources over and over and over again to be able to give a bigger and bigger platform to my ideas. I got this idea of my pop-op who recently passed away. I love him, but Jesus Christ, he was a fucking crazy man. Um, like, imagine if somebody who, like, went through the civil rights era and thought that that was a bunch of bullshit got to keep being in the prime of his life. So that is an forever. argument for, for not allowing them to run companies or countries after a certain number of clones, but that is not an argument for not allowing them to have children. Right. Yeah. Or exist. A, ah. Or exist. No, I yeah. understand, but it, it, we're not talking about not allowing it. We're talking about whether or not it's an inherently selfish act. So basically it's more an idea of ethics as opposed to logistics. But even if you want to go into the logistics idea, imagine if one person was like, Oh, Jesus Christ, imagine if the Duggars got to have clones and also have kids. Mm -hmm. That would be a lot of people. <laughs> my ideas and me are so important that I need to not only be able to reproduce my ideology, I want me again to exponentially reproduce my ideology over and over and over and over and over again until I can basically create an army of but you, me and my offspring. But you can't. If they sterilize and do stuff like that, yes. No, and there's also the can... idea of free will, things like that. But if you're using a mind map every time, I don't know. It's The clones never seem to deviate so far from the original or the prior version that they're Should an we... inherently fully different human. No, yeah. not at all. I think that's the point. Well, and we, we actually don't, we don't know that. I mean, they, they lose True. the memory of... Yeah. a lot of their previous lives. So we don't know what their character growth was. Like, we don't know what Joanna was like, except for the brief chapter that we well, saw Well, we know her. Maria lost months and months over time. And, and it right. was because of a weird mind map issue. No, not, not, no. she said she just, oh. you live that many lives, you forget parts of your life. Just oh, like right. you live one life, you don't remember all of your life with equal clarity. Okay. So then that raises the question of whether or not individual actions and individual events in your life are what create you as a person, or is it the cumulative effect over time? This is a really smart book, and I could make this even more boring if no, I wanted to. I love it. It's fascinating. It's not boring to me. It's fascinating. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, I have weird questions. Thank you for picking so, this book, V. <laughs> in, like, yeah. the skeptic community and stuff, like, it's a big thing about, like, you know, your memories aren't really what you – what happened, so mm -hmm, then right. at what point does hmm. all the cloning and the mind mapping turn your memories into not real things, basically? Probably immediately. You know, it's well, like this I mean, fish, fish that the, the fish always gets bigger or, you know. I mean, think living turns your memories <laughs> yeah. into not real I things. I know. Right? So, like, like, how much worse does that get when you've been cloned, like, 20 times? Uh, we don't know. Question. That's a question yeah. that's never answered. I know. I want to know. Question. This world is super interesting, and there's a it lot. Really is. And I feel like she's thought enough about this that there's probably like a contingency for all that shit. God, I hope she writes more books in this world. I would love to yes, see it. Yes, I would read it. I would yeah. be interested in that for sure. But so to yeah. answer your original question, I don't think it's inherently selfish. I don't know. I think it's an expression Agreed. of self-interest. Right. I, I think it's always going to be. Selfishness. See, See, it's also the question of, do you think that selfishness is always bad? Right. It's yeah. also a good point that do we want the same I mean, people around forever and never get yeah. any new people? I don't know <laughs> that, that about that. That's a good that point. was like the first fucking thing I thought of. <laughs> I was like, you know who was enough of a narcissist to fucking clone himself over and over Trump. again? Exactly yes. the kind of person that I would not want around forever and ever and ever. Yeah. So... Yeah, there's a little bit of self-selecting, I think, within the clone community. Like... Well, and I think yeah. these characters definitely portray that. Yeah. Okay, so if we're talking about what the actual definition of selfish is, lacking consideration for others. So it is inherently it is. a negative yeah. thing. Right. Mm. By definition. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Yeah. they're selfish um, and self-interested. Yeah, I the, like, right. I was more like quibbling over connotation. And I was like, ah, eh, the connotation this way. But yeah, you're right. Like the dictionary, if the dictionary definition is lack of consideration... Yeah. Um, yeah. Because no, I think that people can consider the interests of others and still be like, nah, I'm a clone myself. I think everybody does that at some point. They're like, I mean, not the cloning part, but. Yeah, I was about to say, like, I have definitely never been presented with a cloning opportunity. But I have been cloned. No. Not yeah. going to lie. <laughs> well, actually, would think about as it, someone who's would cloned. probably do it. Uh, it so I guess that's the next question, right? Yeah. Would you want to be cloned? My answer is yeah. 
My answer is it depends. Do I have to have my body exactly the way it, it exists? Right. Do I get to pick? Because that, that's my, that was my question further down about disability and yeah, would so you choose to have it? How about under the codicil? I have, can I be tall? <laughs> right? Can I you can be tall? anything, of course, if you have enough money and connections. Right. You can be anything you want. I could be tall. Okay. I would. You, get to, you get to be the fittest version of yourself, right? Like that is right. the thing that happens. So right. let's let's try maybe multiple versions of this would be fun. So uh, how about just under the codicils? You're not a Sally Mignon. You're just like you're like a hero. You're somebody who can just afford to be cloned, but you're but not. But he like, wasn't somebody who could afford to be uh, cloned. Okay, right? no, no, no. But you're like a normal person who's got exactly enough money to be cloned. Like but you're you not. Can't, like you can't mind map. You can't hack. Well, yeah, no hacking, well, yeah. no no shenanigans, basically. Just no. vanilla version of cloning. No. Nope. Yeah, I no, would. No. I would not. Oh, really? I would, and then I would be able to end my body's life before shit starts to fall apart, because for me, I'm lucky it delayed a while. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, yeah could... 21 for oh, me. Right. So, yeah, yeah, you'd have to just yeah. live so, no. from age 19 to 21 over and over again or whatever. No, well, well, no, your, your, your body's 21. That's the age that your body comes in. Yeah. It's like, you get one year per life. <laughs> Although, always being yeah. 21. Yipes. No, that sounds terrible. 21 is a terrible age. <laughs> no, but you're not mentally 21. You're only physically 21. That's magical. Physically 21, mentally 100. But yes. are you, like, is your, is your brain is still 21. Like, your, the physical aspect brain. of your brain. Mm. Well, that's that's interesting. Point. Your brain Y'all, I still is not all the enough. way grown. I'm good. <laughs> it's a good yeah. question. But because you still have all your yeah. experiences, which in theory, this is a nature versus nurture question, right? right. If you're, all of your experiences would impact who you were, yeah. I would think. But right. I don't know how and if the brain structure would like limit. Yeah. That's a good question. Yeah. Honestly, so I, don't have, saying, I don't have anything that in depth. I'm just like, if I'm going to walk, the, like, if I'm going to talk the talk about how, like, eventually everyone becomes obsolete and you got to shut the fuck up, uh, I have to talk, the, I have to walk the walk. And yeah, eventually my ideas, my experience, how I think society is supposed to look, yeah, that becomes obsolete eventually. And eventually, yeah, I got to get phased out. But you don't, make, it's not like your opinions when you were actually 21 are the opinions that you still hold now, right? So you probably because I was directly. a shitty, per I was a much shittier person. At but 20. we're all a much shittier person. I okay, mean, we so let's... eight years ago. So I mean, who's to say it's not like well, you you stop growing as a person yeah. just because you're a okay. clone? Well, no, think about it. So okay, I live to when my nanny uh, lived to seventy five. So let's say I live to seventy five. I've got and honestly, like I've got the wealth of experience and ideas about how life should be and how you know society should be. And then I'm like, bah, clone o'clock. So I pop back up as a 21-year-old version of that 75-year-old lady who had all sorts of ideas to piss off her children about how, like, mayonnaise it doesn't deserve citizenship or some shit. And they're like, how dare you deny citizenship to mayonnaise? <laughs> Ever since the great mayonnaise you singularity. You would be able to learn past right. your first lifespan. I think you're I selling yourself that. short. I want to think that, but at the same time, I've seen the weight of history. No, I mean, no, as a species, we don't learn very much, but I don't think that's yeah. the same as individuals. But right. then it's like, do you think, like, well, no, 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 I'm I'm better than that. And I don't know if I trust Fair. that I'm better, like, I think everybody else also thinks that they're better than, better well, than I, their times. The yes. individual clone is not, like, your nanny, who is now 21, is not automatically the president and gets to decide everything for okay, everyone. Okay, no, but at the same time, she's also maybe like, multiply that out about five generations of clones worth, and you've got a nice little nest egg so that people have to start paying attention because I can buy shit. I can buy people's attention. I can buy prominence. So what you're saying is we should get rid of capitalism and then that fixes that. Yes. Yep. Okay, good. If we can destroy <laughs> the problem <laughs> structure and we can live a life of quiet intellectual fulfillment where well, money is actually, not the object. That's what she said. Most of the super old clones were like, yeah. peace out, motherfuckers. I'm going to yeah. go live on the commune. Yeah, we're done with yeah. all this crap. Stop, yeah. caring <laughs> or not, stop being interested in changing society right. at some yeah. point. Right. But at some point, like, see, that sounds like like a nightmare for me. Not ever wanting to improve things, not ever wanting to help something, not ever wanting to contribute you, on a big scale. You don't think scale. after seven hundred years you might want to break from that? Uh, after said, like, but what did I do during those seven hundred years? Was I doing that? Was I maybe doing more harm than good at that point? Did, what does it, just, what's what's harm? What's good? Do yeah. you, who are you harming? Who's being benefited? What's good absolutely? Harm? I'm never gonna know whether or not the things that I'm doing to help are really 
causing problems that I will live to see and might just go like, ah, no, 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 no. I didn't mean for it to be like that. Uh, but what an opportunity yeah. too. What an opportunity to be able to live that long and be able to change. Well, but that's, too, that's every good. action, like it benefits some people, but it hurts other people. So when Absolutely. we're talking about benefit and harm, who are we talking about? Right. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like, that's every single action that's taken under any system, capitalist or non. And right. it's like, so basically, it's whether or not you're going to be able to live with. It, it's basically a question. It, it's the, the original Highlander principle. Like, who, who wants to live forever, really? And I don't know. I don't know if I want to live forever. But you don't have I to live forever. I want to live a really long time. And it is selfish. And I don't See, care. I, don't I think mind. it's self-interested. I don't think it's self okay. Can we do the next the next qualifier? <laughs> yeah. We've debated okay. this enough. Let's move on. Well, no, it's like if I can hack shit, uh, I don't know. Think I don't about I don't your time know constraints, Amelia. I know. Even. Thank you. Yeah. So, so do we want to talk about, well, some of these questions will go pretty easily, so why don't yeah. we do those? Yeah. Um, did they ever explain how Joanna was able to kill that guy? Yes, she yes. has. Yes, they did. She stabbed stabbed the guy in the that neck. was me. Like, but under what circumstances was she able to stab the guy in the neck? She was right what? there. She, she was, the was holding him down. Oh, yeah. I missed that part. Sorry. Wolfgang was holding him down, and she the walked bridge. up behind him and stabbed oh. him. Stabbed okay. him. All right, I yeah. missed it. Sorry, that was easy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, uh, actually, I thought that was one of those like, well, Yeah. I think sometimes when you like listen to it, it's easy to, yeah. to miss some stuff. Also, it's like, all, totally. also it was several weeks ago, and I wasn't able that to take also. notes because I was driving. Yeah. Um, driving. And I'm used to taking notes. You'll yeah. see that yeah. I'm crocheting instead of flipping through a bunch cool. of bullshit. So do you think this is more of a science fiction book or a murder mist or a mystery? Definitely sci-fi because the murder mystery couldn't happen without the sci-fi elements. The murder mystery itself. Highly yeah. disagree. Really? Highly disagree. <laughs> Can it be both? Degree. Can it just be a beautiful baby? No, born no. If you genres? have to, if you're in a library and you have to classify this somewhere, okay. it has to have a primary classification. Where oh, are you shelving? Where are you shelving this book? Oh, that's sci-fi. No, no, because the whole plot is sci-fi because it's spacey and clones and stuff. But at the same time, uh, your little old lady murder mystery reader can be like, "Oh, what's this? Six wakes? Oh, I like wakes and." pick it up and still be like, oh, this is something <laughs> like that I wakes. recognize. <laughs> yeah, all of I mean, when you're old, you like wakes, wakes, it's fine. Yeah, I'm old and Irish. I like wakes. Are the uh, little lady mi cozy mystery readers going to pick up a book that's set on well, a spaceship? Okay, a cozy mystery reader is not going to pick up a locked room mystery. Yeah, no, period. Well, no, no, but a sci-fi reader no, no, Because my mom is definitely like more of a cozy mystery reader and she listened to this and loved it. Right, but I'm saying if you're looking for a cozy mystery, yeah, like, yeah, cozy totally mysteries are, are their own mystery. Thing. This is not your book. They're, they're just in the mystery section. I, I would look for this under sci-fi personally. I would shelve it next to uh, next uh, it. So I mean, it is in the library that I work in. It is yeah. shelved in science fiction, and all mm -hmm. of the read-alikes were science fiction. But I think the mm -hmm. thing that makes this different is that it's a mystery. Yes, and if I, I was think so trying too. to recommend this other books that were like this, I would not go to science fiction books. I would go to mysteries. True. Very true. Just because it's set on a yeah. spaceship doesn't mean it's like other spaceship books. Yeah, definitely. But just different. because it's a murder mystery doesn't mean it's like other murder mystery books. Absolutely either. not. Like, this has very little in common. It, with, is, a, like, it is a sweet, sweet baby. Yeah, even, yeah. As, even yeah. as cool as, like, I actually really like Murder on the Orient Express. I really love Temple Indians. Yeah. And those are what I consider, like, closed room uh, mysteries, too. This is nothing like that, because the, the very essence of the, the mystery they're solving cannot be you know, can't exist without all the sci-fi elements. And it's actually a pretty hard sci-fi that sticks to its own rules. Yes. But to say that, if you, don't, if you don't like mysteries, you're going to fucking hate this book, no matter how many sci-fi books you own. Yeah. yeah. But if you don't uh, like sci-fi, you're not going to like this either. So you I think you need to new... push through. You might be able no, to push no. through. No. My, okay. So again, my mom. AI and clones. Not necessarily a sci-fi person. She likes Orphan Black, but she's not hmm. really there on sci-fi, right? Um, but she loved this. Like when I finished, this was an orphan black book, though. Like <laughs> <laughs> this is very much in that genre. <laughs> well, okay. So I'm. Um, let me think about my mom. My mom loves mysteries. She and I used to watch Murder She Wrote when I was a little kid. Um, most recent Netflix show that I've ever. Same. Seen. Maybe I am thinking of my so, mom because my mom wouldn't read this. See, I my think that I could be and loved it. I could eventually get my mom to be like, I, I, if I explained, like, no, 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 wait for it. If you could just get them past the threshold to the point where they're actually investigating, 
and when they're not like focusing on like what the laws of cloning are and what. I mean, if you go to chapter three in history, yeah. 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 yeah, if you well, skip the first, like. like so yes, it's sci-fi, right? But like again, my mom's generally not the sci-fi person, and for me to get her to read sci-fi takes a lot. And when she does, she usually likes it. But she read this yeah. before I had even listened to it for book club yet. Oh, she was like this is really good. So I gave her no preface. So in a lot of ways, yeah, I do think mystery readers might read this and be able to get yeah. over the sci-fi hum very easily. It's a different kind of mystery, which in mystery is. A breath of fresh air because if yes. I have to read yeah. one more fucking Englishman in a scarf solving some <laughs> bullshit on the tube, I'm gonna fucking scream. Well, she's yeah. like a Mary Higgins Clark fanatic, so yeah. like that's which is super formulaic. Genre. Super, yeah, yeah. and there's something to be said for formula. Like, I love repetitive Look, I, shit, I, I love, love romance, which is 100% formula. Oh, you yeah, know same. what you're getting going in. Yeah, I mm -hmm. love and there's formula, a but. Sometimes... And that's why I like it, though. I want to know what yes. I'm doing. Yes! Mm -hmm. Same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God, I do that with video games, too. Like, I've been playing it's shit out of Diablo. I want to make the click and the, the, the lights go off and I'm excited. Like, I yeah. just mm -hmm. want that feedback loop forever. Uh, but I think it, this one of the strengths of this book is that it went into, like, really familiar territory, but put so much of a twist mm -hmm. yeah. that it felt really new and fresh. Right. Mm -hmm. To me, this is a mystery book with a science fiction twist or set in a science fiction world. I agree yes. with that. Yes, I, with that. I think you're right. I'd still shove it on sci-fi. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think I would shove it on sci-fi to try and get sci-fi readers to put stop it in the front, reading out, like, so people can check it out. That's talker. what I do. Put it on one of the little uh, <laughs> bookends. Yeah. Yes, right in between sections. Yes. yes. <laughs> just give it to everybody. Be like, excuse me, like, just, have you considered <laughs> this way? Yes. <laughs> have you considered yes. space murder mystery? Yes. Uh, yes. Seriously, you should have. And here's you the should. book. Yeah, yeah. this is how you do life. it. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Okay, so two POV questions. Did the structure of the novel with flashbacks and multiple points of view work for you, or did you find that frustrating? I liked it. It was fine. I'm usually anti POV hop, but it worked on this one. I think the unevenness of how often, like, I don't think we spent enough time with Paul. I hated Paul. Agreed. Paul, but we uh, really agreed. could need more depth to it. Especially him. given the ending, I feel like we needed yeah. more. Yeah. Agreed. Oh, yeah. Agreed. agreed. I, I, I was 100% good with no, with very little Paul. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it wouldn't have been like, like no, he no. fucking sucked. Fuck Paul. But no, like, honestly, I think that it could, she could have done some really cool stuff with a few yeah. more Paul chapters. At agreed. the same time, I can see he's probably a pain in the ass to write. Yeah, because well, he's deeply unlikable and not in the good like way. Like, I can see, I can see his <laughs> he's laughter not team at the he's going, oh my god. It's true. Fucking god. He's no Vivienne. He's no Vivienne. No, he's no Vivienne. He's no what's-her-name from the fifth <laughs> season. No. no he's no Ova. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, this fucking guy. I know I well, got to keep honestly, him in here, but... More Paul would have made the book too long. Like, what would you cut out to get more Paul? I wouldn't. I would have made the book a little longer. I wanted a little mm -hmm. more. I think it was perfect. No. No. I think one or two more chapters, one Agreed. of which being Paul, would have been. I'm with Aries. I'm with Aries. At the same time, I love this book and I don't fucking care. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I disagree. Yeah, they didn't do that much with Paul before the big reveal of him. I don't fucking care. I love this book. <laughs> well, and also skipping to my thing under number four there, I thought that it was really unevenly written in the beginning where the book was a slow start for me to get interested or give a crap Ooh. about even though the beginning is a nice i love those yeah the big, literally slashy slashy hugs, beginning the, the one <laughs> everything fun. says like but then music. it like slowed way down too slow for me and i was like why am i reading about 200 years ago oh i love that oh, i love that shit too because like, I like, it, 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 it was over. like you've got it, you have a puzzle and you're getting like random ass pieces together and it's right. like right. it felt a little too dumpy at first for me a little too let's all talk to talk to each other about things that we already know to get exposition out into the world there was a little bit of that to me it, yes. did, it worked because didn't none care. of them knew anything right they didn't none oh, of them had yeah, they the last 25 them. years so they're but they're they talking about it to the rules and the you but, know they knew a lot they're, they're talking about it to try and figure out, like, where are the edges of the stuff they don't know. Right, right. And yeah. by it talking to somebody else, can they fill it in? It felt a little too exposition-y for me. I can see that. It worked perfect for me. I, but I read it in one sitting. Yeah. 
Same. Yeah, like I had to put it down once or twice. But once I was in, like I said, it was much, it sped up to a very acceptable pace. At like, oh, yeah. It kind of reminded me of reading Patrick Weeks's book where oh, like yeah. it was kind of yeah. a slog at the beginning. And then once I was in, I was like, okay, I'm in for real. <laughs> you know? Well, I, like, I got to like, I was 85% done with the book and it's two o'clock in the morning. I'm like, well, I'm finishing this. So yeah. duh. Yep, I was sitting at breakfast by myself today, and I read the whole damn rest of the thing because I was yeah. like, "I'm not leaving until I'm done. I don't care." Yeah. I took a <laughs> stop. I took a stop on my way home at a Waffle House, and definitely was sitting at Waffle House with headphones in, listening. Nice. To this. <laughs> I, I repeatedly at work was like getting annoyed having to pause. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair. This would not be a, a workbook listen for me. Yeah. No, no it, it was a bad workbook choice. And that part of my lack of discussion is that I was listening at work and I feel like I lost stuff and now I want to go back. And we listen to it. Again. But I still yeah. really, really liked it. Yeah, yeah at the very it least, was, this was a good get the fuck through Virginia book. For sure. Virginia's yeah. the worst. Yeah, Virginia is really long. <laughs> like, so long. that is wide. Yeah. Um, so, did the switching points of view make you trust the characters that you got to spend more time with more or less? Less, less, uh, less. Define trust. <laughs> I never had trust for any of these characters, though. Nope. Like, never did. Like, I figured out where Maria was coming from because we spent a ton of time, and if I had to name a main character, it was Maria. So, um, so yeah, it made me so figure out where she was. The description from. of the book only mentions Maria. I mean, if you read like the back of the book, summary of the book. Yeah. If you had to summarize the book, I would I would take Maria because she's the person we probably spend the most time following around. We spend the most time stapled to the back of her head. Um, but I like her. that she's not reliable and she's not, in some ways, likable. Oh, Although yeah. you, could, you could argue, you know, but um, I like, like They're her all before. unreliable. I love yeah. it. I love it yeah. so much. Yeah. But, yeah like, that was good. In, in this kind of mystery, like the word, last thing you want is someone to be reliable, right? Like, yeah. well, right. it would almost not be a good, it wouldn't have been as good of a book if anyone in this story was reliable. Well, it was like we weren't you reading know? a mystery from Watson's point of view. We were reading a mystery from Moriarty's point of view. You know, yeah. <laughs> that, that was, yeah. Yeah. oh my I God. Like you know? <laughs> I need that fanfic with a good right? description. Right, would read. <laughs> 10 out of 10 yeah. would read. Good description. Yeah. I'm here for that. Bandit. At the same time, you know what? Even <laughs> yes. when even when the characters aren't like, you know, screaming out loud about how unreliable they are, which is like Hero, uh, yeah. and even Maria uh, is you all and uh, Katrina too, you have characters like Wolfgang and Joanna, who, if not like saying I am not reliable, uh, the the other side of the coin is I am fucking menacing. Mm -hmm. Because I found I found Joanna a little menacing. Like she oh, was a former politician. She was a doctor. She was the only one who had access to certain stuff, and is basically kind of the silent killer. Yeah. You know, oh, I find her the least menacing out of anybody. I, I did find her the least menacing. Yes, but she wasn't also trying to play at the um, unreliable game. She's like, I'm just, I'm just gonna fucking tell you who I am. I was. A, I definitely did trust this her. time. No, no, did not but, trust her. So yeah. out of everybody, I trusted her the most. Hmm. Yes, but that's because, but damning it, with faint praise. Well, okay, but it, I also had the thought that it could have been like an Iron Bull kind of situation. It, yes, didn't, exactly. turn, it didn't turn out to be, but it could have been, um, I'm going to tell you I'm a liar. I'm going to tell you I'm unreliable, and that's going to make you trust me. Right, yeah. that's what I was looking for the whole time with her. But it because never happened. It was just so reasonable the whole time that I was like, this is creeping me out. You're too reasonable right now. You <laughs> know, what I like, about her. <laughs> yeah, no, she was great. It was great, but I didn't yeah. trust her at all the entire time. And she did turn out to be, as far as we know, pretty trustworthy, but right. I yeah. was just we, we still uh, don't know what her crime was. I think like, we, we don't also, know why right. there. Right. I think we also get to the point of, like, oh, you're a politician. That's unreliable. Right, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. We already know. I think, I already I know. think that you're did, not, yeah. like, about 70% of the work. <laughs> yeah. Right seriously. There. I was like, I'm going to take you at your word, Joanna. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trust you until you prove yourself unreliable. And that was a good choice for me. It took me a while to admit to myself that I was I was actually listening to her and taking stuff at face value. Yeah. Because I, I, I do that thing where I, I try to think I'm too smart for the book. <laughs> like, no, no, book. I know your game. No, no I was no, like, more laughing than you are. You are, I am along for the ride. You you are like, the puppet master and I like am. There... <laughs> it's like, I know your game. Wait, you mean there wasn't a game? Clever game. <laughs> your, so, game was, your game was having no game. And this is not a question. Who's, well, who is everybody's favorite character? Ooh. Hero. I loved Hero. Ian slash 
Takamatsu. What was his name? Minoru. Takamatsu. Minoru He's my Takamatsu. favorite, but I don't know his name. Yeah, he was my favorite. Hands um, down, my favorite. I kind of liked Maria. I liked her, too. I did, too. And her little her little head person was also yeah. red. <laughs> no, 100% BB. A thing that can happen. <laughs> <break all fucking. laughs> the one that we can thank for happily ever after. The pig, yeah. the pig, the pig was, was my favorite character. <laughs> BB? My favorite was when BB contacts Maria and she's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Why is this thing talking to me? What is happening right now? <laughs> yeah. Yep, amazing. Also, yep. just the concept that it can read your saliva and know exactly what you want to eat at any given I mean, time. I that's pretty fucking rad. <laughs> Holy creepy also, shit. Also, I can print a human! It yes. printed a human! Can we a talk about that? human. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm talking about. By the way, does calling out your own deus ex machina and saying, yes, I know this is a deus ex machina, make it less of a problem? Yes, yes, yes. yes it does. Yes, it does. Because <laughs> like, I was like, no, 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 no. You don't get out of the out of the day. Like, no, I like by calling it out. Laughed out loud. At the same time, I don't fucking care. This book is awesome. <laughs> like, I was like, I am all in. I don't even care. Yeah. I'm suspending my disbelief. Yeah, I am perfect. here. Oh for no, this. it worked. It yeah. was perfect. The world, it worked. Yeah. It was Chekhov's gun. Like, it was perfect. Yeah, yeah, yes. It was Chekhov's yeah. gun, and I was like, okay, you called out your own Deus Ex Machina. That does not make it less of a Deus Ex Machina. That said, I don't fucking care. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's doing the thing I want. So yes, I'm okay with it. I could just imagine her cackling as she typed that title. Right? Like, it's like, <laughs> remember that printer, motherfucker? Yeah. <laughs> right? I was like, why are you spending so much time with the print? Oh, right? shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, well, it's making shit. a pig? That's fucked up. Oh, oh, right? Or even like, yeah. she even takes the time to call out that it's printing the organs. And Hero was like, yeah. that's fucked up, doctor. I cannot <laughs> yeah. watch. Well, and I was like, why is she printing an entire pig just so that they can eat pork chops? Why not just, no, oh, right, I get it oh, now. Yeah. <laughs> well, part of, I like kind of got the like, see if it could. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, it's well, yeah, I'd probably, well, yeah obviously. Thing. I'd probably Especially start with like, there's no waste. Yeah. Right, right. It yeah. all goes back into the recycler anyway. So. Yeah, right. I could probably right. start Which with a chicken. Which ew? Which ew? Well, I don't know. I mean, it's no. just reclaiming matter. Look, if you no, watch Star Trek, you're in. Yeah. The line where Maria was like, whether you shit it out or we recycle the leftovers, it all goes into the recyclers anyway. Yeah. Was, yeah. No. That's how it works in Star Trek. It's all I'm just out. matter to be recombined. Just I'm replicator out. the shit out of everything. I'm out. <laughs> it's efficient, Ness. It's efficiency on a spaceship. It's, it's needed. Disgusting. <laughs> you could never come to space. It now. is a three mile long spaceship. Oh. Do not talk to me about it. Efficiency. No, I would you rather eat, eat my own shit than, than try to raise livestock no, on a damn. You're steak. eating someone else's shit. You know, way, but they ate the same stuff as you. Like, Not the like like food that I like. No, they just—it is the same stuff at its heart. It was just packaged a different way. Like it's Mick nasty. Is what? Oh, no, it's, it's fucking <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> But I love it. I think it's brilliant. I think we should all do it. I think it was genius, but it's disgusting. And I am glad I'm going to be dead before that is here. The clones (laughs) are made out of the same stuff that they're eating. That's what I'm saying. Extra fucked up in this. Disgusting. They're like eating themselves, really. Yeah. So that's the thing. The fact that Billy was able to do, like, print out a human body. We're all doing that. We're all eating organic matter, and we're organic matter. It's organic matter. It's technically, like, all things. I need to be far drunker for this conversation <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i might be too drunk for this i don't this know, know. No, it's it's so so no. into your webcam like no 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 is guys <laughs> guys look guys. the bottle is now empty <laughs> That's uh, all right moving on i have to go i have 15 minutes, right, right. woman dang i have 15 okay. minutes woman you're fine. Gosh, okay, women. The question that I Whoa, so man. I have read two books recently that did this really well: the treatment of disability, mm-hmm. this one, and mm-hmm. surprisingly, the Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. But oh, I want to read that book so bad. Oh my god, I've seen nobody talking about this. But she, I don't know what it is. <laughs> parenthetical it. aside, she does the fucking best job that I've ever seen with chronic illness slash disability in a nice, book. It was, nice. It was amazing. Neat. It was amazing. And she, so Mer Lafferty also does a good job. Yes. Because I feel like most people, well, I'll speak for myself, <laughs> not speak for everyone. I would try it. I'd be like, let me try having a body that functions as it's supposed to. 
But I yeah. love that Joanna was like, nah, this is not, I, yeah. I have a full life, regardless of whether other people think my legs are normal. Right. Mm. Makes sense. And it was a very good analogy for deaf culture, I felt like. Yeah. Um, you yeah. know, and the, the complications there, which I don't feel like I can, it's way out of my lane to speak to, but it's conceptually to me very similar. Oh, yeah. No, it, like, I actually having, like, you know, seen, like, I, I, again, this isn't something that I can participate in, but I can see on the outside and be like, cool. Uh, yeah, I thought that was really interesting. And the idea of wanting to preserve deaf, uh, deaf culture and, you know, treating it as its own. Right. It's not a disability. Culture. It's a, it's a culture. Yeah. And to cure deafness would erase that culture. And that, again, that's way out of my lane to speak about. But it's just, it, this reminded me of that. If you can erase all disability from yourself, yeah. from the world, what are else are we taking yeah. away? But point? then at the right. same time, let's, let's throw another like, wrench in here. Would you rewrite your mind map to eliminate chronic, like, chronic depression? Yeah, well, yeah, that's the other thing. Like is, major what depression. are we taking away? But my answer yeah. is some really shitty stuff. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like I, I mean, would definitely change my body given the opportunity, no question. And that's and that's a, a choice each person has to make. It can't be forced yeah. upon you. I think that's where that that line really comes down on yeah. this. And she made the choice to not um, use her prosthetics and stuff. Well, no, she used the prosthetics. She made the choice not to give herself no wait. normally yeah. functioning leg. Yeah, that's yeah. right. I'm sorry, but at the same time, everybody after her didn't get to pick. Yeah, right. So. Right, Good they just point. had to live with it. But yeah. I like that she was like, her life is valuable regardless of what her decision is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, right. Right, I think, it, it, like, I'm definitely against parents choosing that. Yeah. Even as a parent, I'm against that. But as an adult person, would I want that choice? Absolutely, I yeah. would. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, and that's just yeah. it, right? It's, it's all about having that yeah. choice. And they took it away from clones, period, in this world. Right. So it's fascinating. And so what did you think? And I'm just going to burst right in here, Ness. What did you think the difference between, so Joanna chose, like, this is my body and I'm okay with it. And Hero at the end says, you need to fix me like yesterday. Yeah. Um, well, his, his wasn't a, like a, an illness, right? This is something yeah. that well, somebody I think you could argue it was similar to an illness. I, okay, so. it, I mean, maybe it was a proxy for an illness, but this is something that somebody else forced on him. Yeah. Well, can't you argue that all disability is forced on you? Like, it's not like you picked it. No. But this yeah. was this was a thing that people did to him yeah. without yeah. his consent. But I think well, it's important. Like it was that. the exercise of one yes. person's agency over upon somebody another. else. So it was right. an yeah. infliction as opposed to an affliction. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's right. It's different. If somebody did this to me, the thing that I deal with, I would have a lot of different feelings about it. Yeah. Than mm -hmm. I do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. One hundred percent. I mean, the uh, the outcome is the same, but you feel you think about it in a different way. Really and I think, regardless, it's his choice to make. That I, that I agree with. I think it's both yeah. their choice to make. And I think I like that she presented both sides, right? Like yeah. Joanna made the choice, and that was her choice to make, and it's great. Yeah. Hero made a different choice. That's his choice to make, and it's great. Yeah, yeah and I totally blame get. him for making it. I, yeah. I'm all in for getting rid of the anxiety brain. <laughs> I'm all <laughs> right. in. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to take medication to do that for a reason. Mm. You know? Right. So, yeah, it's just uh, fascinating. Just fascinating. Yeah, no, yeah. it's just, again, this is a really smart book. It book mm -hmm. it dealt with a, a lot without feeling like a morality play. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, and it didn't feel I, icky around disability either. And you want no. to speak to it better, Ness. But, um, yeah. like, sometimes you read stuff and you're like, ooh, that's not. Like, 90% 90, 90 of the time, I feel like, ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Like that one with the guy in the wheelchair and the, they fall in love and then he. Anyway. Oh, oh, me before yeah. you. Yeah, yeah like apparently, and the other one, the girl a book that has a sequel. It, it, oh, it, it has sequel. multiple. Yeah, and the, the yeah the, 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 uh, I think it's multiple sequels. I because I read me before you, and it it's not good. It's like disability porn, almost like you know, <laughs> it's inspiration. Porn. Inspiration yeah. porn. Yeah. It yeah, has a little bit of that porn. to it. Parts of it are okay. I see where it's problematic. Wouldn't necessarily recommend it to people, but I don't regret reading it, if that makes any sense. Absolutely. Yeah, it does to me. Yeah. I, it's just nice to read something that didn't make me cringy and didn't make me yeah. feel like, ooh. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this yeah. Is, yeah, totally. With that girl in a bubble movie slash book. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Everything, oh, everything. Exactly. Yeah, that, that one's really. even weirder and more. That, one, <laughs> that, that one's one is weird because it's really well written. Gross. 
But it's gross. But it's, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. The premise is this, this this girl is her mother tells her that she has this really uh, I guess well she has an illness that means she can't go outside or she'll die. Oh, mm-hmm. cool. spoiler alert! She doesn't actually have it. Right. Yeah, I, I had a feeling Munchausen. that's where this is going. Yeah. yeah. And so, yeah. like, she's cured by the power of love. Munchausen by proxy. Yeah. And the, like, yeah. it's so gross. And, like, having so... actually worked with Munchausen's parents, yeah. it's technically it's Munchausen gross. by proxy. Yeah. Yes, yes it gross. is. Yes, it really you fucking can... is. You could tell that story in a way that would not be gross. The, that could. book mm-hmm. slash movie did not succeed. Uh, yeah. So yeah, like the book for me was like a solid two and a half because like it's well like the hard part was it was like it's well written. Well written. Oh, brutal! Like you want to be like, yeah, this is this is very well written garbage. But like I didn't write a review, but I was looking at my review and I was like, yeah, I gave it a three because I was like, I really want to yeah. give this a two and a half. Yeah, damn I you, good reads and your nuance. Yeah, I so should have read one. Yeah, I would. I rounded down with that one. But what the fuck just happened in this book? I don't know. Who <laughs> this is me when I finished the book at work. Like what? Like it was a fucking like just like wait. I need to go back and listen to the whole book again. Uh, I can definitely. It's, it's like, kind of like watching like Memento. You got to go watch it again right away, or in or yeah, uh, Inception. Like, I was just, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. It was. I didn't feel confused. Yeah, were you confused, or was it just like, whoa? It was like a whoa. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. The outlines for the draft of this book must have been ridiculous. Just like scribbling on a bad person. I immediately went to the escape rooms and was like, oh, this is like an escape room, but but you have to decide what to do at the end, which is, do you go back to Earth or do you go continue on your way? Hmm. I didn't feel that way, having done both. Read it and done the escape room. I, I, just, yeah, I think it depends on the escape I was just room. Like, Nobody died horribly in the escape rooms that I did. I don't yeah. know. What, we got no, hit together and blindfolded we y'all. Like, we even did an AI escape room. Yeah, and we just yelled, yelled at our friends for being shit at Pong. Like, <laughs> that's, like, no, that I just got handcuffed to a, a co-worker and blind, we all got blindfolded. Oh, wow, no, that is a no, very different no, escape room than the one we did. That is not an escape room. That is something I think that might be something that like, you we, would call the police about. <laughs> we got put in prison cells. Yeah, no, that's not an escape room. Yeah, I feel like yeah, it's in a guy's dungeon, and I think you need to call the police. Yes. No, no, it was definitely a prison cell still. But Ooh. it was funny. Okay. Six to one. <laughs> <laughs> so to answer the question, I did not feel like this was an escape yeah. room mystery. Okay, I just had a moment of like, hmm. but you are valid. Your opinion yes. is valid. Your opinion is yeah. valid for sure. I mean, it definitely wasn't. I just had moments of like, oh, this makes me think of like just having to find all the little bits. It made and then it's me. Like, Poof. It made me think of hours. paranoia. The, <laughs> the RPG where like everybody <laughs> had their fucking like jumpsuits, and I was like, well, especially because you get oh six clones of paranoia as soon as I heard yeah, it was called six weeks. Six clones of paranoia. Of I think yeah. Mer Lafferty has played paranoia. Nice. Probably very possible. Okay, very Aris, fun. we're gonna get to your question. Did was the ending too neatly tied up? No, I think it almost might have been, no. but the exception oh, totally was. Come no. on, nope. The thing is, nobody really lived. I didn't like the fact False. that Paul got turned into the new AI because I thought that was extremely unethical. Exactly. Like, if it's not okay to turn Minoru into an AI, why is it okay? Well, but now they know that she can undo it. Yeah, so maybe she can, they'll she just can do turn it for a new while. So, so basically, just, Paul just has, like, the shittiest job on the ship until he's there. For a while. Yeah. That's a thing. I mean, they said that, right? Like, this is his punishment for trying to murder everyone slash murdering everyone. Why would we trust him? Yeah, because they, they, you they exactly because, because they strip all his, his yeah, all his out. humanity out. Yeah, exactly. so it's that horrible. Really, really Did he really have any humanity out. to begin with? Like, he's the only human on board. That's actually the human problem. character. He was if very human. Another chapter. <laughs> <laughs> he was very human, and that's the problem. Like. Yeah. This is exactly the kind of shit that humans do. But at the same time, like, A, I'm worried that they created HAL 9000, and B, like, if it was not cool to have Minoru turned into the ship's AI, like, if Paul didn't like clones before getting turned into the ship's AI, how the fuck is he gonna react to the idea of, like, oh yeah, for the last 25 years you have been a, an agency list program? Yeah, I don't think that's gonna go well. I thought that was fucked up. It's fucked I up. think, honestly, he doesn't want to be a clone. There's a really simple solution to that. 
Yeah, there was. Just let him die. Right. I mean, they none of them mm -hmm. knew, right? Like, everybody, they all think everybody's a clone. So, creating, like, bringing him back to life is not an ethical problem, I don't think, for Marisa. They knew, they knew at the end that he was a yeah. human. I think that, that is Prior a whole to separate being thing. Clone. But, like, bringing, when they brought everybody back to life, the, they no, knew. The first time. The first yeah, time. Yeah, no, that's not. fine. Yeah. First time they would not have known. It's just yeah. at the end when everybody knows everything and we're coming yeah. up with like, all right, let's well, just 3D print his I mean, bodies. If, if it, he wants to die and they're just going to execute him at the end in any way, why not just let him be the ship for 25 years? See, again, like, I don't... Mm, it's skeezy. I, I, I don't like it's it. It's putting somebody in... I mean, you put I somebody understand. in prison, you remove their agency. How is this different? Entirely, man. Uh, pretty you much not in the same way. you just remove their agency you don't remove their memories yeah. and emotions it's, it's not in the same way uh like people even when they're in jail they can produce amazing works of art they can enrich themselves like prison is a shitty I mean, place that nobody yeah. should really be spending significant time in but you still get to be a person you're not the person you used to be but yeah you're still a person and there is light at the end of the tunnel and you get to incorporate those experiences into who you are in the future for better or worse. I think turning him into the ship's AI is unbelievably fucked up and you should have just put a bullet in his head and that would have been I better. think there's an argument to be made that it is similar in effect to putting somebody in solitary confinement for long periods of time. I, I agree. That's totally unethical. I agree. But we totally do it. I know. That we I, totally shouldn't. Yeah. But we do. <laughs> I, I understand that. It's just I don't think that's part of the happy ending. Like, I don't think ooh. the ending has I don't think to be it, happy. Well, no, no, no. Paul didn't earn a happy ending for sure anyway, but... No, he didn't. So that's the thing. You just say, like, all right, Paul, you're done. Okay, we move on. We have we have a normal... But then ship. how do you do... How do you... How does the ship function, then? It needs an AI to function. What do you so, do? So even if leave, you're going to use the Marius. mind map that was previously called Paul, just remove anything that was going to be Paul. If you have to use, like... Just like, because they never really get into the specifics of how it's coded. Like, if you can't come up with enough of a program to manage the ship, I thought that was why you had Hero. Yeah. Theoretically. But even if you do need some kind of program, just be like, all right, we're going to use, like, maybe even just use my mind map and strip out so much stuff that it's not even a character. Well, and that's what they did. That's and what they something did. She, she blew over was, well, just dump the Maria AI into a robot and then put Paul in. And they never went back to, because it was at the very end, like, what the hell? Now you have a robot with an AI of Maria's. I missed the robot. Where was the robot? Yeah. She's, at the very end, Katrina, the captain, says, okay, so when they're deciding what to do with Paul, they decide to make him the AI now. And they decide yeah. to. So Maria had put her, had done the same thing that she did to the other guy. Minoru. Minoru. Thank you, Minoru. Um, to herself and put that in and was flying the ship. And so the captain says, oh. just dump that identity into a garden robot and then yeah. put Paul in. So, and I'm like, so, so no, now no, you have this no, like no, no, robot? No, 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 no. That's what that, she said. No, she did not say, she did not do the same thing to herself as she did to Minoru. Well, she it had was a like, piece of her flying was, the ship. Basically. It was a VI level program, not an AI yeah. level program. Okay. Yeah. So I'm saying, yeah. that is fuck different. Paul. Don't keep this little like caricature of Paul around. Just be like, Paul, you're done. You're a fucking murderer. Goodbye. If you need to use spare parts, like, yeah, maybe use Paul, but better just let him go. Maria has the ability to make decisions about her own profile. So if exactly. she wants to turn you know, the VI or, like, this this other, like, very low-level cognizance thing into the thing that drives the ship, that's fine. I don't think she gets to exercise that kind of, like, playing God over Paul as shit as Paul is. Like, I think... I, My uh, understanding is, of it was they needed something with more... that needed to be AI level to actually run the ship. I, I didn't... I couldn't quite tell. It's believable, though. Because it's, otherwise, why not just leave the Maria VI to run the ship? That was my question, pretty much. <laughs> like, why? Why? Yeah, why are we doing this to Paul? Like, I think I they need maybe more under certain circumstances, I might be able to understand it, but don't act like you're bringing Paul back at the end. Oh, I don't think you're, they are. I think no, this I don't is think Paul's, they are. I think this is Paul's death sentence. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God. Which is pretty fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. So but, then, at some point, like, okay, once the trip is over, whatever you're doing, you're, you're fucking done. deleting Paul. Right. Because mm -hmm. don't act like, that's the thing. I got the impression that they were eventually just going to be like, all right, look, he's going to serve a sentence and then we'll bring him back. He's going to be another clone. And I thought that was really fucked up. Like, it's a terrible idea. If that's what yeah, no, he'd come back. 
and murder him. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, which like, like okay, like again, I'm not even convinced that they haven't just created Hal Nine Thousand because <laughs> saw how well that worked with Ian Minoru. <laughs> yeah, we'll see okay. how that goes in the future. Yeah. Okay, so let's so. do the easy question for the last one. What did you think of the titular six weeks? Did you think that was an interesting, like, a good way to structure the book? Um. I, I I was trying to figure out what that meant, like six wakes, like awakening, or like yeah, that's what it was. Like it was what, like first wake, people wake up, all the clones yeah. wake up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the wakes were actual like people death. waking up. Yeah, yeah, but I was thinking wake in terms of like, oh, I like wakes. Uh, like, no, like we're not your dead granny people. who likes wakes. Yeah, like dead people. That's what I thought because it's a murder mystery, and I thought that there was like a double entendre. So yeah, I had the same thought at first, and then I quickly realized, oh no, it was people waking up, and I was like, this is, I liked it. Yeah, once I figured that out. About someone waking up six times, which also would have been an interesting story, but it been. wasn't this one. Yeah, no, that would have been, like, <laughs> that's what I thought it was going to be. I mean, <laughs> I how, how many times did the six sleep. times? How many times did Mar- Maria wake up? Was it six? They, uh, they all had several lives, lives, some of them more than so, others. Would it have been different? Like, I think it would have been kind of cool if it was literally them getting murdered six times until they. That's what I out. thought it was going to be. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like we're mourning this person now. We're mourning this person now. I was like, waiting for them to continue to get murdered, like over. Yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah, I was like, come on, come on, come on, it's coming. Oh, I was definitely waiting for Ian to become a murder bot. Yep. See, no, I was waiting. Honestly, I was waiting the whole time for Paul to snap it and kill them, which apparently yeah. he already did. Yes. Yeah. Done and done and done yeah. again. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Amelia has to go. So Amelia, Alrighty. what did you think of the book? Four nugs. Loved it. Thought it was a little too heavy in the exposition y, but loved it. Izzy. Four nugs. Eris. Five. It had a lot of problems, but I do not fucking care. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah, same. It's great. And thank same. you so much for picking it. I'm very glad I read I'm this. So glad you liked it. Five nugs again, if we're going on the good read system. I love the shit out of this book. Yeah. Right. Am- Amelia, what are you picking next time? Next time, we are going to read The Bone Witch by Rin Chupiko. I love um, that name. Yeah, me too. And I honestly don't know anything else about it. I've purposely sort of stayed away from I have it sitting in my Kindle. I've had it for months, and I'm like, I'm not even looking at it. But it looks like, I'm sorry, so sorry, Eris. I think it's YA. <laughs> not a, it was not on purpose. You know what? I, I got my reprieve. I got my it. reprieve. I'm happy. Next time, I'll try and pick one that isn't, because I think that's only fair. But I happened to see this go by, and it looked really interesting, like, um... Yeah. It could be similar good. to Labyrinth Losty sort of concept, so maybe. Mm-hmm. So we'll see. I'm willing to. I am always maybe willing to like give it a try. There's definitely necromancy involved. I can tell you that. The, the cover is gorgeous. That. Yeah, it, cover is amazing. I saw it in person, and I was like, "Oh, I don't need a physical copy, but I want it." Yeah. Right. <laughs> if there's necromancy involved, I'm back. Necromancy in. is yeah. you're involved. <laughs> so well, hopefully oh, cool. we'll. Link. Sorry, it's apparently or, compared to Lee Bardugo, and I'm so in for that. Oh, yes. Hmm. Excellent. She's yeah, kind of like, I have to be screened by someone else author now. Grisha! Oh, so good. I love the Grisha trilogy. But all right. Bye, everybody. I'm going to try. Bye. 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 Read it. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Stopping. <laughs>